What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Deresha D, out here at Clark Atlanta University's 31st homecoming. Tell them who I got with me yeah, out here. Your boy, today. Cash. Cash want the swing. The swing guy. Boom. Swing. <laughs> I like that. Cash with the swing. Now, get into that for me, too. Tell me how that name came about, because that's a mouthful. That's a long name. Do they call you Cash no, for short? I mean, they just they just call me Cash. Okay. I mean, swing came from me and my little bro back at home. One DZ shots out of my little bro. He got his thing going on with 32 in time. He didn't want I'm saying no, 3200 Broadway Entertainment. Okay. Correction. <laughs> but um, yeah, just something that we really just came up with as as gist and swing instead of everybody saying sauce and drip. Nah, then oh, it was okay. like, man, like, nah, we just gonna say swing. Like I brought the swing, like we got the swing, and you could use it. It's it's very, you know, it's very diverse. You can yeah. use it in any way, you know. I got the swing, I got the swing. You, you got, got the swing. swing. Now have you seen people jumping on that word, using it a little bit? Um, we had um we had a couple you know yeah history with the word swing okay, you know i don't okay. want to get too into that but it's just yeah but people know who really got the swing you dig what i'm saying okay cash let's go ahead and jump straight into your music you got a single coming yeah. up don't cry now let's tell us about that a little bit don't cry now man and it's produced by me as well and okay. i did i did all the work and i wrote it myself yeah uh basically don't cry now, it's just me. I was in the state of mind, like, all right, now, nah, like, don't cry now when I'm at a certain pedestal in my life. And now you want to cry up to me, and you want to <laughs> suck up to yeah. me. And after, after I tried to give you a chance for you to support me and everything, but you, you know, you kind of shoved it to the side. So we dealt with it a whole nother way on a high level. You dig know what I'm saying? We all about elevation. Right. Now, other than don't cry now, what else do you have coming for us? Um... <laughs> That's in my little secret pie. I can't okay. tell y'all. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I could see him cooking it up down you know, here. We, we cooking with hot grease <laughs> now. We just we gonna give y'all don't cry now. Okay. And we gonna see. We gonna yeah. We gonna see how we gonna see how everybody eat that up now. If they want seconds and third now. We are gonna give them the two backup joints I got behind waiting for them. You know we want everybody. To eat and we can't home. get the titles of the two backup joints mm -hmm. just yet. I don't want to spoil it. Just yet. Okay. Now let them know where you from. I'm from. Two hours down the road. Okay. Down, going down south, Montgomery, Alabama. You know, we just <laughs> down the way. You know what I'm saying? But I currently stay up here now. Oh, you do. You have made Bama mm -hmm. to Atlanta, Bama to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I've been, I've been actually back and forth, probably like high school. But I made it official, like when I got out of high school and just said, Nah, it's time for me to come up here. Right. What made you say like that had to be the move that you made coming from Bama to Atlanta? Because a lot of Alabama artists are really starting to come down here to Atlanta. So what made you say I have to make that, that move? That's that's only because the internet. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say like I'm not I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm not a very inner internet internet oriented person, but at the same time, how I got myself and my music around, I, I'm very social in the streets and everything too. Mm -hmm. Not like not not the streets like ah oh, the hood, the <laughs> trap and all that. No, I'm talking about like really in the streets with like with all types of people you can name like you know diversity. We're not stuck on one type of people. We want the whole world, mm -hmm. you know, behind behind on this train that we're trying to. We're finna take a long journey with this, but it's gonna be a nice, fun, long journey. Okay, I like that. Now get into a little bit about you being a producer. How is that? How do you have to switch up? you know going from an artist into a producer it's fun like it, it, it gives me so much more to do instead yeah. of just instead of just focusing focusing on one 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 little, one little thing I got going on here and I just like to be busy so I was like shoot man basically I could just, I could just yeah I could just get into both and produce my own stuff and then at the same time I, I never had no problem with me recording my own music because I record my music in bulk. okay you know what I'm saying like I go one day I do three songs right. another day I do about eight then I come back and do about five. Right. That's no problem. But then I could juggle that and then still go and do other major artist productions. No problem. Now, are you one who likes to go in and write or are you just off the brain freestyler? I started off as writing. But see me, I'm, I, I made myself musically inclined because I was always into music. So like in my early, early school, then like between like me getting into high school and going out, I was in choir the whole time. So I kind of basically studied that. So, you know, started off writing. Then I just got comfortable enough where I could just go out the dome. Right. Now, I see you call yourself a philosopher as well. Get into that. What, why do you call yourself a philosopher? 
I call myself a philosopher because sometimes like I can say me as a me as a person and I've been through a lot of stuff in life too, you know, that I don't know I'm gonna talk about in person or in public or whatnot, but I'll speak it I'll speak about it through my music and that's why I say my music is more for people who go through um emotional times and if you've been down if you've ever been down i actually had been down to the point like yo i had to get on my knees and right. beg like right. yo help me out like okay. i'm very relatable and if anybody got you know if anybody would ask me i'll try the best of my ability and like hey to see to to see like into their situation see if i actually been in that place before you know and giving them the best of my advice you get what i'm saying right. about you know you know how i feel about everything but it's just more more so just being a bigger person sometimes you need sometimes you need the biggest part be the biggest person out here you know what i'm saying so you could carry somebody else on because you never know who's watching you you know what i'm saying yeah you definitely never know who's watching you now before you get out of here let us know your social media let us know where we can find all your music at all my music all my music is on all platforms i have an ep out right now called all things news on out on all platforms apple music title spotify okay. uh social media Twitter, Twitter, and Instagram is Cash versus the World. Spelled out, just you know, V S Cash versus the World. Okay. And we gonna make sure you know everybody you know make their own hashtag versus the World. We gonna start a little campaign like we you global. You starting a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cash versus the World. You going global like versus the World. It's you versus the World. Right. Like that's how I feel. Okay. It's me versus the World. So I'm a conqueror. I'm a king. That's all. That's all there is to it. All right. Well, thank you so much, Cash, for definitely coming through thank to Clock you. Atlanta. We've had a great time with you out here.